Well, you see, in, this week in Azerbaijan, on Wednesday, they were set to vote for a new leader. Well, they announced the election results on Tuesday. You did not hear that wrong. Uh, let me quote the Associated Press here. On Tuesday, the smartphone app of the Central Election Commission released the results of Wednesday's vote, showing President Ilham Aliyev, whose family had been, had been at the helm of this oil-rich Caspian Sea nation for four decades, winning 73% of the vote. No, that's not in a different week. Elections on Wednesday, they announced the winner on Tuesday. Oops. They said, well, there was a misunderstanding. I'm sure there was. So when they finally announced the real results on Thursday, the day after the election, well, lo and behold, it turns out it wasn't 73%. That in fact, Aliyev had won with 85% of the vote. His main competitor, Jamil Hassanli, had received less than 6% of the vote. I got news for you. When you have an 85 to 6 election, it was rigged. If Jesus Christ came back down from heaven, and God opened up the sky and said, this is my son, he wouldn't get 85%. Okay, that is not possible. <laughs> it's an obvious way you fix an election. At least make it like 57, 43. <laughs> make it a little credible. You want to blow out 65, 35, right? 85, 6. They say that there was uh, overwhelmingly, in monitors, did, international monitors, overwhelmingly negative uh, vote counting practices. Hmm. and possible voter fraud in 37 polling stations. I don't know how many polling stations there are in Azerbaijan, but my guess is that's a significant amount there. Uh, here's a quote that I love. Monitors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe called the vote flawed. You think? <laughs> okay, that's an understatement. Uh, look, Aliyev uh, took over from his father in 2003. Gator Aliyev had ruled for the previous three decades, and he was a straw man under the Soviet Union, and then he came back into power after the unrest, after the Soviet Union dissolved, and then handed off the country to his son. They're not having real elections in Azerbaijan. <laughs> so, what's hilarious about this is that two things. Number one, of course, we, the protectors of democracy here in the United States of America, love the Azerbaijani government. They worked with us in sending troops to Iraq, Afghanistan, Kosovo. Uh, they help us with our supply lines to Afghanistan. And in a wild coincidence, they've given their oil rights to BP, Exxon Mobil, and other Western oil companies. Gee, I wonder if that helped in us looking the other way when they clearly rig elections. Probably not. And then one of my favorite parts of the story. Turns out that Azerbaijan is ranked 143 out of 183 countries in its 2011 Corruption Perceptions Index. <laughs> Jesus, how corrupt are the other 40 countries? <laughs> okay, Azerbaijan, well played.